great news um just two days ago i got in front of my um ihs which is international health surcharge in simple terms it's just ins insurance fee health insurance fee you pay in when coming in as a migrant into the uk i'm sure if someone tells you that that money can be refunded back to you you'll be happy it's going to be useful for something no matter how small you think it is so um if you're coming alone or if you're coming with family each and every one of your family members also has to pay this fee and trust me it's not <laughs> it's, it's not chicken change <laughs> anyway for some people <laughs> it might be chicken change for some people but yeah so um i did my application three weeks ago and i was surprised to have gotten the refund so fast so in the past two days i've been getting a lot of questions a lot of calls from friends how did you do the application how long did it take how much did they pay and blah 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 so yes um now the process of applying for a refund is actually very easy very smooth and very seamless and very stress-free you know it's not nigerian things <laughs> Is anything that is nigerian that is actually very stressful but this is a very very smooth process bear in mind that um you have to be legible for a refund for you to get a refund now there are two categories of people who are eligible for a refund of the ihs fee those who are on a tier, tier 2 or general visa that are medical professionals and two those who are on student visa that currently may not be currently shall but have worked in healthcare sector for like six months yeah for six months and you must have worked a minimum of you must have worked a minimum of 16 hours per week yeah so um and what are the documents or what do you need what are the things you need for this application you need your hhs reference number 12 digit number now i remember i got a call just this morning someone asking me oh i've lost my ihs number how do i get it or those of you who don't have that number i think the easiest way for you to get it is to go back to your email the email you used for your registration go back to your email and i'm sure you'll find it there because i remember getting a, an email notification immediately we made payment for the ihs um you need your six months pay slip yeah so what i advise you to do is either take a screenshot or i don't know pdf copy of your six months pay slip and merge it into one file because you only have the opportunity to upload just one file so um also have your offer letter handy because after your application probably five days after your application or a week or two you might be asked for it although a lot of people that apply till now we're not asked for it so i don't know but after five days of my application we got a mail to upload offer letter and we did so um that's basically what you need the next video the next um <laughs> i keep looking outside the next voiceover will be the steps in the application process um and just basically it is a very smooth easy and stress-free process and to think that when we applied we got a mail that it will be processed within six weeks trust me it didn't take six weeks it's just this is just like the third week and we had gotten the refund already and no the more i'm sure most of you will be asked, <laughs> wondering if the money is paid in full no it's not paid in full they pay part of it now and the balance later on and yes each and every one of your dependents can apply for this now some of you might have questions what if i'm a student and i have a dependent and one of us is not in care fine it only takes one person to be in care and yes the whole family gets the refund but you must be eligible meaning you must work in healthcare sector which is already addressed and you must have worked for six months and you must have worked for 16 nothing less than 16 hours per week yeah so and if it's your dependent who is in care and the student is not in care it still works out the same way one person it's enough to claim a refund for the whole family yeah so just watch the rest of the video 
video was helpful to you don't forget to like give my video a thumbs up don't forget to share don't forget to drop your comments i'll be in the comment section answering your questions if you have any questions just drop it in the comment section and i'll be there to answer it see you in my next video bye do is to go to your phone browser and search for gov.uk and once it opens up on the right hand side um you type in the search button ihs refund search so um it brings out everything that has to do with ihs tax refund visa all those things blah 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 so, so you can see it's 5352 results so we're just going to scroll through this is what we are looking for get an immigration health surcharge refund if you work in health care health and care so you click on it it opens up um now there are two categories of people who can make this claim the first category are people on tier 2 visa who are medical professionals yeah so if you have a tier 2 visa and you're a medical professional um you are eligible to apply for your ihs refund then the second category of people are people who are not on tier 2 visa but also work in health and care rules now this is basically where students and their dependents fall in so what you just go ahead to do is to click the second option if you do not have a tier 2 in bracket general visa and you work in health or care rule so this is what we'll be clicking now it opens up the next page to show you the um, eligibility and um every other information you need to know then um these are the things you would require to make this application you need your ihs number the 12 digit number the easiest way to get this number is through the mail that was sent to you when you made your ihs payment yeah because immediately you, made your, you make your payment you get a notification via mail and that mail contains this 12 digit number you also need your national insurance number you need your email address the name of your employer and copies of your pay slip for six months now this is dated from when you are starting to make your claim so you need six months pay slip i would advise you merge the six pay slips into one pdf because you have the opportunity to upload just one file you don't have opportunity to upload different files or six files so just merge the six months pay slip on one pdf then once you know you have all this then you click start now so the first question is has the applicant paid an immigration health surcharge for their current visa you pick yes continue what type of visa does the applicant hold now where we where students and dependents fall in is the other visa so this is where you click clicking then you click continue has the applicant had a job in health and social care yes continue did the applicant work in health and social care for six months or more yes continue when working in the health and social care was the applicant working an average of 16 hours or more per week as i mentioned before in the video you need to have worked an average of 16 hours or more per week so here we're going to be clicking yes continue so it gives you brings you to a page where you check all your answers if you feel like there's an error and you need to make any correction use the change button but if there's no error you just proceed with the application by clicking continue so here you'll be asked for your name so let me just use my name Juliet click continue then your date of birth just just this is just for the purpose of of this video continue so here we asked for your national insurance number you need to have it handy um let me see if i can get my national insurance number um um okay i'll just enter it um, continue 
now here you need your ihs number the number i talked about previously so once you have it you enter it and click continue you just follow the process it's straightforward you get to the part where you'll be asked to upload your pay slip and once you upload you submit immediately you submit you get a notification via mail um stating that you have made application for ihs refund it will also contain your application number and all so um after the application you just hold on for the next um information they are going to bring to you for me after five days i got a mail to upload to send my my employment employment or offer letter to them so what i did was to scan um my employment letter or will i call it offer letter and that of my dependent and i scanned it and i sent it to them and after a few days i got another notification that my application is successful so this is um as far as it goes it's very straightforward it's not a difficult thing once you're able to finish the application on the portal on this uk site I don't think there should be any other problem.